and Matsuko here again. So in this experiment, we're going to be measuring spring constant or determining spring constant. You guys will figure out the actual numbers for the spring constant. I'm just going to run the experiment and collect some data for you guys. Uh, so again, we're going to be using our smart card uh, with a hook for um, measuring tension. And so on it, I have my smart card here. Um, we're also going to be measuring displacement with a smart cart. And then I have four springs. Uh, they kind of look different. One's really skinny and long. And then one's like really long and old looking. Um, and then I have two that look newer, uh, but they're slightly different lengths. Um, and they are actually feel a little bit different, even though they look similar. Um, so I have the shorter one is on the cart right now. And then there's the longer one which I'll use next. So I'm going to do run the same experiment with these four different springs. And, um, and then you can figure out the spring constant. And then later on in another video, I'm going to use these same springs uh, to do some, um, uh, start to continue exploring how springs work and periodic motion. Um, and then at that point, you, you need to remember what these spring constants are that you have calculated. All right, so uh, I have here a smart cart. Uh, I have hooked onto it the spring. The spring is tied to a string, which is tied to an upside down pulley just to give it, um, just make it stable. I'm assuming that the string doesn't stretch. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And so all the stretching is purely in the spring itself. All right, so there you go. We're gonna um, go over here. Uh, first thing I need to do is make sure that my, uh, my force is zero. And so I have basically no tension going on. Uh, the string is not tight and I have zero force, which is awesome. All right, and then I'm going to press start and let's see what happens. Start. There we go. And, and we're stretching. I'm gonna move it back and forth a little bit just to make sure I have the right line. I don't want to put too much force on the spring, but it looks like it's pretty comfortable stretching this much. All right, so I have a nice line going on right there. All right, so that should be sufficient. So we'll take that off. Uh, here we go. So that was the short, uh, the shortest one, really. Um, now I'm going to do the long one that looks new. And I'm going to put this on the end here. Bring the cart back over here. There we go. This one's longer, so it's probably going to stretch even further, but let's see. All right, so um, again, make sure zero gets to back to zero force. Okay, great. All right, so I do want it to make sure it's not touching this. Okay, so I'm probably going to look more like here. All right, so. Whoa. This one stretches a lot further. Okay. All right, so something like that. Uh, ah. So that's the longer one, the longer newish one. Okay, now I'm going to do this skinny. It's really hard one. It's hard to bend. Uh, really skinny one. Put that on the string. Bring that hook over here. Put that on the hook. Okay, this is not going to stretch much. Okay, make sure I get down to zero force. Awesome. All right, here we go. Oh my, this is not gonna stretch much, okay. I'm gonna keep it somewhere around here. Okay, got a nice line going on there. All right, so that's our skinny hard one. And last but not least, this kind of huge one, kind of more bouncy. Um, okay. My hole here is getting Kind of small. Let's see if I can make it on here if I have to tie a knot. Tie a knot. Okay. Right, so give me a second here to get this connected properly. There we go. All right, great. That's connected. Here we go. Make sure my smart card gets to zero. 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 Okay, I got a zero again. All right, there we go. 
this one here again I want to make sure oh, okay I want to make sure it's not touching um, the track there we go so there and run four with the gigantic one okay making funny sounds but it's going acting like spring okay stop all right so here we go we should have four different runs so again they don't all start at zero uh, which is fine um, uh, well is it fine maybe you guys have to figure that out <laughs> but anyways you guys will analyze this we've got our fourth versus position four different springs all right, figure out, you guys figure out the spring constant, so we're going to use these springs again in a later video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.